We've got some sunshine later this afternoon, but clouds this morning. Sunset tonight would be at 5.09 p.m. 5.09 p.m. High temperatures today near 70 to 72. South winds are not quite as windy as yesterday, but they're still a little breezy. So uh, I don't call it a flat out windy day when we don't have a wind advisory. But yeah, it's still a little breezy, especially just slightly south of the Tulsa Metro. Uh, we are still seeing some 25 mile per hour wind gusts on both sides of I-40 and just noticed a 30 mile wind gust near the Worcester and the Poto area, some of those ridge tops there in LaFleur County. So tomorrow, it's much cooler, much colder. Now this is not an Arctic air mass that's arriving tomorrow, but it will be much different compared to what we're experiencing today. And then Sunday, the temperature is about the same, but the difference would be the wind. So Saturday, we're still gonna have a gusty northwest wind. That's gonna create some wind chills, but Sunday, uh, we'll have a very light north breeze in the morning and a light south wind in the afternoon. Here's the radar. So there's nothing of any significance on it right now. Uh, as the moisture continues to stream through the area, we do have a very slight chance that we can have a sprinkle or a little spot of drizzle. But then it's later tonight, Tulsa, 7 o'clock until about midnight. I, I went ahead and put the probability on the timeline here. Tulsa, I don't think we're going to have a storm. This will be east of our immediate area around the 7, 8, 9 o'clock time period. If you're watching in the far southern and eastern areas, you're going to have the opportunity for the thunderstorm. So as the day progresses near and east of Tulsa, we have a slight chance that you'll have to flip the windshield wiper on kind of a sprinkle dropping from the cloud deck. This afternoon and tonight, from the Grand Lake area, Tahlequah, Salisaw, Stigler, and Wilberton, this is a moderate chance. Now, this does not mean that everybody in this shade of green will have a thunderstorm, but you have a better opportunity than we'll have in Tulsa. I think we're going to miss out in the Tulsa area. The best chance of all will be right across the Oklahoma, Arkansas state line area and also around Baxter Springs, Kansas, eastward into the Missouri vicinity. One or two of the storms again later tonight. Far eastern Oklahoma could produce some hail. Temperatures today, Pawnee, Stillwater, Pawhuska, upper 60s. This little quadrant uh, from I-44 to near Tulsa, south through the Indian Nations Turnpike, we're going to anticipate a little sunshine this afternoon, and that should allow those temperatures to jump into the lower 70s. And then the far eastern areas will stay mostly into the 60s. Tomorrow morning starts at 39 in Tulsa. It'll be kind of chilly in the valleys into the 20s. It's a little brisk again on Saturday, Sunday, lighter breeze. And then on Monday and Tuesday, temperatures will be kind of moving back above the seasonal average. We get ready for our next storm system that's going to show up for the middle to the end of next week.